We are now living in the modern world. Technology is everywhere. Buildings are everywhere. Modern people are everywhere. But what was it like living like our ancestors thousand years ago? Let's see and discover the world of the hunting and gathering societies. The hunting and gathering societies, also known as the foraging societies, are a group of people that depends primarily on wild foods for subsistence. The hunting and gathering society was humanity's first and most successful adaptation. Most hunter-gatherers are nomadic and live in temporary settlements. This society have low population densities and they have little wealth differentiation. They are economically specialized only by age and gender. To this day, most hunter-gatherers have a symbolically structural sexual division of labor. The group of men are the ones who are tasked to hunt. Men activities may require long absences from home and travel over great distances. Male tasks may be dangerous because men do not bear children and may be more highly valued in order to motivate the expandable male to perform them. While small bands of men follow the larger wild animals, women gathered grains, seeds, nuts, and etc. Women's work was steady and regular. Men's work was more spectacular but less reliable. In a society that lacked the means of preserving food, gathering was more reliable than hunting. In general, in hunting and gathering societies, women are less subordinated in certain crucial respects than they are in most, if not all, of the archaic states or even in some capitalist nations. Especially lacking in hunting and gathering societies is the kind of male possessiveness and exclusiveness regarding women that leads to such institutions as savage punishments or deaths for female adultery. It is important to understand the differences between genders. It forms the basis for how each will experience a product. Not all differences are obvious. It takes careful scientific research and observation. The payoff, products that work for and connect with women. And this is good for the whole tribe for the whole hunting and gathering societies.